Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we've got a bit of a cook with me, meal prep with me going on. I am not actually going to be talking in this video, so I'm going to close my mouth very soon. But I wanted to tell you guys what I'm going to make, seeing as I'm not talking. Do you remember? If you follow me on Instagram, I cut my own hair. <laughs> yeah, maybe it wasn't my best move, but I accidentally cut layers in it. So now my hair falls out of my braids. Very sad. But anyway, I'm going to try and get these meals done as quick as I can. I've got three meals to make. First up is a lentil bolognese in my slow cooker. You could use beef or pork mince instead if you don't want to use the lentils. But I'm trying to keep it healthy. I Most of these recipes, all of these recipes, are mostly like whole food, plant-based. I feel best when I eat like that. So that's what I'm making today. And the lentil bolognese is super easy to make in the slow cooker. I'm going to make four dinner's worth. I know. That's a lot of bolognese. <laughs> I know. I don't really have a recipe as such. I just kind of do my own thing and I'm going to freeze it all. I'm not keeping any out. Freeze it all for the next coming weeks and months and then it's really easy to have dinner that night. Don't really need to do anything apart from heat up the bolognese and boil some pasta. And then my next recipe is actually from this cookbook. This is the Good Housekeeping Ultimate Recipe Collection. I got this free not sponsored but I got it free when I signed up for a subscription for the magazine for $16.99 I got this six months of the magazine um two like kind of little mini cookbooks and this cookbook is actually an RRP of £30 does anyone ever pay full RRP for a book I don't know <laughs> but I did see it in Costco at the weekend for £17 so $16.99 I got this and the magazine and the two other little books so yeah, <laughs> it's actually a very, very good cookbook. This recipe is on page 203 and it's this satay sweet potato soup. I'm going to be freezing that as well. And then I'm making my own version of bibimbap. I can never say that right. <laughs> I hope I did not offend you. I'm really sorry if I did. And I've already got my apron on because I cleaned up in here. This one, Thomas got me this for my birthday. Um, it's from Marks and Spencer. It's got carrot on it. It's it's nice, it's comfortable, it's very big, it could go right round you, so it's pretty comfortable. But anyway, bibimbap. I normally make mine with steak and eggs, but not today because it's whole food plant based. <laughs> so I'm going to use vegetables I've got in the fridge that need using up, and the base of the sauce, I use something called Ready to FM more people. Um, Gochujang, gochujang, gochujang. I'm not sure how you say it. You'll see it when I make it. Um, the tub I buy, I get it from Siwoo. It's like two pounds. Siwoo is an Asian supermarket here in Glasgow. And they sell lots of different Asian food, Chinese food, Japanese, Korean, a little bit of Taiwanese, and also randomly Polish food. So I don't, I don't know where the Polish food comes from. Um, Poland, obviously. But what I mean is like, I'm not sure how that fits in a seaweed, <laughs> but um, yeah, I get it from there, it's like two pounds. So I'm just gonna make my own version. Normally you would kind of cook it separately. I'm just bunging it all in a frying pan today. So without further ado, let's get going. I hope I can get this done quick. And I'm not gonna freeze these, I'm gonna serve it over brown rice, and then I'm just gonna have the bibimbap for my lunches this week. So let's get cooking.
guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up I have new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday so be sure to subscribe and check them out and I'll see you then bye